North Park Elementary is a neighborhood school in Grand Rapids, Michigan, with an active volunteer parent group. When the PTA decided to spruce up their school over the summer break, they began raising money to reseal the surface of the asphalt playground. But when they went to hire a contractor, they found that they had stumbled into an unexpected environmental and ethical dilemma. We've always wanted to do something to our playground. So we started looking into stencils and took a look at the pavement and realized we couldn't paint on top of the weeds and the cracks. And we began to try to figure out what do you do? How do you get it made clean like a parking lot? We really knew nothing about resurfacing a playground. Fortunately, there's an engineer in our parent community, and he agreed to work with us. Where I don't do sealants every day, it seemed like a pretty straightforward project where I'd help the PTA look at a few different quotes and evaluate from a technical perspective what the people are proposing to do. We were looking at the quotes when Melzar found a study, and that made us think twice about the whole thing. The USGS study was conducted in Texas, and they found that the coal tar sealants had an order of magnitude higher of these PAHs. So they tracked those byproducts through their ecosystem and found that they were causing some problems, and that in turn led to the city of Austin banning coal tar sealants and some of these other municipalities and jurisdictions following suit. You know, there's a concern on the PTA board with that information that coal tar was toxic. Like, like any petroleum-based product, there's off-gassing from the curing process, which in this case, the worst of it is in the first seven weeks. But then even after that, there's still an ongoing release of, of of chemicals, when it's walked on there's particulates, uh, dust is created when the kids walk on it. When it gets super hot, it starts giving off fumes again. I didn't want my kids exposed to that. So the PTA had a dilemma. They were obligated to spend the money donated for the project, but they debated whether they could, in good conscience, put an environmentally toxic substance on the playground, in spite of the fact it was an industry-wide standard procedure. Oh, there was a huge debate. Some people believed the studies, some people couldn't understand the studies, some people said maybe this is just an alarmist study. People really didn't want to believe the studies. Once I knew the difference about what my kids are being exposed to, not to mention the fact that, we, what are we, two blocks from the Grand River? I couldn't turn my head the other way and say let's just do what everybody does. Part of our mission statement here at the school is to think about the environment and to think about how our actions are affecting everybody else and affecting the environment. So some of the studies that we read were, um, it was natural for us to think about their conclusions. Once we decided to pay attention to this study, we started to look for alternatives and everybody we called was using coal tar. We started to look for some alternatives. After much searching and after even talking about what if we do nothing and how do we give the money back or use the money responsibly, we fortunately found ASI who makes asphalt emulsion last just as long, does just as good a job, costs the same, and is not toxic. Our asphalt emulsion, the ASI L3, is much better for the environment. We're not adding a bunch of chemicals to make it blacker to take away smell, to in increase viscosity. The things that we're putting in our product are natural. Um, we're not adding synthetics to, to achieve the same objectives that a coal tar product would give you. The ASI L3 is less expensive and has the same longevity or recommended reseal cycle of every two to three years. It's a sealer. It's a, it's a preventive maintenance product. It's something that you have to do every two to three years if you want to save money over the long haul of your asphalt. If you've done your education and you've learned everything that there is to this industry relating to coal tar and asphalt emulsions and rejuvenators and so on, and you've got an applicator that you want to apply our material, we will help them because this is not coal tar. This is not another emulsion. This is our own formula. It needs to be applied a certain way. However, it's very, very easy. I'm really impressed with this community and, and its willingness to get educated on something that's really important because their kids are going to be playing on these parking lots. The questions that they asked throughout the whole process were, were outstanding. They're things that I wish everybody would ask. Truthfully, all sealers are going to break down. When it does break down and it does get into the water, which product do you want to be exposed to? If we all changed 
to something that was a little more green or a little more eco-friendly. When we live in a state surrounded by lakes, the largest freshwater pool in the world, I think it doesn't take a brain surgeon to say, maybe we ought to do this. For more information about ASI and their non-toxic asphalt sealer, please go to www.asinnovations.com.